Initial vaccine shots trigger a 48% drop in nursing home cases in its first major study, and lawmakers try to wedge open the door to nursing home visitors in Indiana with mandated caregiving program. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. A link will be in the description. Nursing homes that completed its first vaccine clinic saw cases decrease at a faster rate when compared to facilities that had yet to administer any doses, according to a new first-of-its-kind study. The analysis released Thursday by the Center for Health Policy Evaluation and Long-Term Care revealed that vaccinated nursing homes saw a 48% decline in new resident cases three weeks after its first clinic. In comparison, non-vaccinated facilities located in the same county saw only a 21% decline. The report also found that new staff cases declined by 33% in vaccinated facilities compared to only 18% in non-vaccinated nursing homes. The study looked at 797 nursing homes that conducted their first vaccination clinic between December 18th and the 27th and compared them to facilities in the same county, a total of 1,709 facilities that had yet to conduct a clinic. The analysis is the first to look at the relationship between the vaccines and spread in long-term care, according to researchers. Investigators say the findings suggest transmission may decline within three weeks after receiving the first dose of the vaccine. Though the data is encouraging, researchers stress the need to see if some similar trends after this first week clinics have been seen in other studies. Vaccination campaigns and reduced transmissions may soon bring visitors back to nursing homes, but officials in one state are using legislation to wedge the doors open now. Indiana lawmakers are considering a bill that would require all of the state's 534 skilled nursing facilities to participate in an essential family caregivers program. Overseen by the state health department, the program allows residents to appoint up to two caregivers who can enter facilities to help with meals, grooming, even companionship, and even when community spread or a positive test in that building might otherwise keep guests out. The bill also requires skilled nursing facilities to allow a visitor during expanded compassionate care situations in language echoing federal regulations issued last fall. Its standards would be implemented in future health emergencies as well. The proposed legislation would still allow designated caregivers to enter when county positivity rates are above 10% or if the building has had a positive test within the last 14 days. As nursing home residents in many states complete their vaccination series, it remains uncertain how long CMS will take before relaxing its visitation policy. It's unclear how many other states have considered similar legislation fixes while waiting, but in Pennsylvania, a 400-member group rallied at the state capitol beseeching lawmakers to expand visitation rights. Some state legislators pursued a program like Indiana's, but access remains dictated by CMS and health department guidance. Indiana has seen at least 23,000 cases in nursing homes and long-term care facilities with more than 4,900 deaths. The cases have been declining statewide for eight weeks now. CVS had provided the first shots at the 309 state skilled nursing facilities it's serving, and 31% of those had second shots as of February 3rd. In testimony earlier this week, Indiana Healthcare Association's Laura Brown noted that the bill protects facilities from liability for virus spread among residents or visiting family members if acting within program guidelines and without gross negligence. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.